play this character in a different way. Yes, this should be an interesting clash. Of I do, <laughs> maybe not. Perhaps I spoke too soon. We got blue sheet versus blue sheet. Yeah, it's gonna be real tough to keep track of. Um, I think Dreffin always plays vanilla, and Ben will play like the, the blue color. Yeah. Dreffin definitely landing the chain grab right now. Um, yeah. Ben might not be as uh, familiar to some viewers. He's definitely one of Minnesota's new top players after Absent Page is absent. I think Absent Page is playing at locals or something, but not quite as involved. And it's been kind of Ben and preeminent. They're related, I believe. Fox, Fox made is preeminent. Yeah. I see Ben here. And they're both like 16 years old, which is crazy. I know, they're both crazy young. And uh, Reffin is kind of twice Ben's age. And here they are flanking yeah. Melee as Eta. Me the melee, melee is the great equalizer. You know, oh, Ben landing that like early nair. I see how Pleba use that a lot as well. It's kind of where you just you go in and stuff preemptively. Forward tilt, excellent DI by Ben. And oh, plus 100 get up. Good job. Dreffin might have been able to omp the tech, but it have been very rough in any case. Yeah. Oh. Dreffin not uh, taking advantage of his own outplay on Ben Chino's guard. Yeah, it's super important that you actually punish whatever the follow-up they decide to do. And that time he does a very good job. Um, ben was doing his best to make it ambiguous as he uh, came up, whether he was able to make it onto stage or not. But uh, Dreffin rolls, and then he can just run up grab if Ben even lands on stage anyway. Forward tilt grab comes out by Ben. Oh, and he managed to break out, so uh, that's the one thing you do not want to see from a sheep, though. It can only happen if you try to pummel more than once anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, ben breaks I out of his own. I thought buffer down throw would just be coming out for I, both of these. You know, I, I would not be surprised if Draffin doesn't buffer his down throw. Maybe not. But <laughs> Ben and <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh, 69%. This is Draffin at 69. This is powerful. A force of nature right here. Oh, there he goes. Alright, Ben's safe. He can at least take this stock now. Hopefully. Uh oh, forward tilt, tech chase. Down throw. Yeah, that's kind of tough. This looks like it's gonna go to 100. And he gets the up smash. That's what uh, Dreffin does really well is a lot of Sheik players, when they're getting chain grab, uh, the opponent who's chain grabbed will just keep re grabbing while the opponent holds in and tries to get onto the platform. But Dreffin knows what percent he has to tech chase at. And any percent before that, he knows he can up smash and just get the kill straight away. Yeah. It's always hard to imagine what you're going to counter pick in the ditto. Um, I'm not really sure why Ben chose FD. You have to talk to him about it. Yeah, I, I can't imagine this is that good because we just saw him chain grab three times. I mean, like, I feel like every Sheik player kind of tends to be confident in their platform game. That's just yeah. what Sheiks do these days. So maybe Ben just thinks, okay, Dreffin might, I might be good, but Dreffin's better at this. So I'm going to try to take it away. Sure. And um, it kind of worked out. He took the first stop. Oh. And now here's Needle Grab. Oh. Ben was not able to transit that into a full punish like Dreffin was, but he's still in the lead. It's mostly coming through like this smart neutral that we're seeing. Oh, but there his shield gets called out by Dreffin. Let's see how uh, Dreffin likes to end his chain grab when the opponent is DIing away from him. Okay, there we go. That's a nice ambiguous DI. Kind of made the up smash look like it was possible. Needle jab. Kind of a very strong mix up on needle grab, which is like the dominant option for Sheep. But when you get the jab at it, it kind of resets the pace. And I feel like Dreffin is like, in any of these kind of wacky, scrappy situations, I have a huge experience advantage. That definitely is what I want to be doing. There's two pummels that time on that down here. Oh, and Ben manages to jump out of the up smash. I think that's the percent limit. That was very close to um, the last stock of game one. So I'm thinking that Ben might have thought of any, he would have been able to make it out, even though he knew that Dreffin could have found the up smash. A very strong back are coming back on the stage from Ben. But uh, Dreffin seals it off. Great movement to get behind that 
another regrab here. Oh, forward kill. Dreffen backed off, kind of hesitant on his ability to beat Ben to the ledge. And uh, Ben kind of respected Dreffen, maybe a little too much there, and it kind of let him get a punish anyway, even though it couldn't run the ledge. There's a back here. Good falling needles, and he calls him out uh, going to the ledge. I like that run up forward tilt a lot. And he was fully ready for that attack, and he gets the good punish. <laughs> oh no. Dreffin has said that Zelda's the future of the Sheik meta, but I don't think he meant it that way. Yeah. I'll take the grab punish. I think Dreffin is the, is the most willing to pull Sheik's I've yeah. ever played. To, to transfer to Zelda. And frequently he gets punished. Up and um, Dreffen probably something pretty, pretty good. You know, those games were kind of close, but you know, there's just a couple little mishaps that made it seem that way. Yeah. Going to Fountain is kind of, kind of the polar opposite of FD, the game where platforms and like small stage kind of most makes their appearance. So down throw up smash into an up air. Oh, okay, oh, that's very scary. Slightly misspaced it. Goes on a platform. Yeah, it makes it a little harder. Calls him out with the up air. Uh, let's see what. Okay, Ben managed to make it on the ledge dash in air. Fully ready for the option test once again. Yeah. He's just so, re so ready for that. It's uh, Dreffen's only option to stay in, and Ben doesn't have to do, like, it's not like there's a mix up there. He just has to go for it. Calls out the spot dodge. That's like one of the Dreffen classics. Right? He might be the spot dodge master, but he's like the against the spot dodge master. <laughs> Funny trade. Um, and now this is like basically even, just considering how strong chain grabbing is. Dreffin having full needles, but didn't opt to use them until just then in that defensive scenario. That might have helped him in that situation, but you, know, you can't really question Dreffin. Especially now when it comes to needles. Now here's going to be like at least three or four re-grabs. Uh, let's see if Ben can make it onto the scene. Oh, he's not even trying to go on the platform. Oh, I think he's going to go here. Deying in, but it kind of, you know, even though it's like the worst option in that, it's the easiest to hit a forward air on. It definitely let up, gave him a chance to like ops attack or like do something crazy. So like if you feel like it's guaranteed and Dreffen's always going to hit that uh, that forward air, it at least gives you some more defensive options. Yeah. Dreffen content to wait right outside where the needles will land. Oh, full hop top hawk. Oh, but uh, he doesn't get the re-grab. And now let's see Ben. He will win. Oh, Dreffin getting caught shield grabbing there, but no punish from Ben. Unable to uh, capitalize, but... Good narrow to shield by Ben. Now, uh, Ben kind of has his first lead that we've seen in a while. He had a lead game one, but I think Dreffin just kind of called out a shield stall. <laughs> I'm imagining Dreffin's going to want an up smash here in this flat, but unnecessary. It's like that forward air. And uh, if you're Ben, right, like, you might catch Dreffin, like, being a little lazy, like, oh, I'm up 2 0, I'm going to win, whatever. But here's a chain grab. Oh, and as the platform is coming down, it makes it only just to able to match out. A lot of one out. pummel down throws that are not seemingly buffed. 
Oh, excellent extension Almost there. Almost did. Both spots out Ah, uh, that's it. That's the eye. Honestly, very good showing from Ben. Definitely at 69%, by the way. But, but, you know, Ben was able to keep it fairly solid, honestly, in every game. Yeah. I don't feel like it would. It looked like a 3-0 at first glance. Like, if you told me that was, like, game four or game five, I would have believed it. 